All right, the Padres lose game two of this series. The Giants six to three. Dylan Cease, Logan Webb. I was excited for this pitching matchup on paper going into it. But Dylan Cease, he was not the sharpest. He got hit pretty hard there in that second inning. Padres, they initially get the lead. Manny with an RBI single made it one nothing. Xander grounds into a double play, but a runner scores. Profar scores, made it 2 nothing. But then the top of the second comes around, and there's a couple of hard-hit balls that get through. And then Grant McRae steps up to the plate. This is someone that I did not know of going into this series. Um, so I was not familiar with, you know, the Shaq meme or the, the Shaq gif or whatever on, uh, on social media. I apologize. I owe you an apology. I was not familiar with your game. That, that's how it is with, with Grant McRae here today. Uh, now it was also bad pitches. Both of his home runs tonight, one off cease, one off of Yuki Matsui late, which, you know, it felt like it took the Padres out of it. You know, going into that ninth inning or bottom of the ninth, and you're down by three, not one. So that was a big gut punch. But both, uh, Dylan sees that ball was, I mean, like almost right down the middle. And then Yuki Matsui, ball into a lefty, still a big league hitter, even though he was hitting ninth, and he will take that. So really, the Giants were capitalizing on some of the pitching mistakes. And the Padres, they didn't do enough offensively there were some balls that were hit to the warning track crony had one later in the game where it was a pitch on the outsider outsider outside part of the plate and he pulled it and that ball was a warning track ball um and i mean let's talk about the lineup right the lineup was not as strong as it could have been in the ninth inning you had tatis pinch it had merrill pinch it and that's one of the encouraging things from today was that Merrill, it, it seemed like they didn't show a replay of him running down the line when he got out, but it seemed like he was running fine going down the line. And then Tatis has a double. I got worried for like a split second there on one of his steps going from first to second base. It didn't look great, but it seems like he's fine. So, you know, they come out of it healthy, but this was not the Padres' best lineup. Um, if I mean, there's a day off Monday. I know Padres, they've got to, with Tatis, like this was the plan. To give him the day off, I get it. Or at least the, the start off, most of the night off. With Merrill, he wasn't going to play today. But for me, it was more not playing Elias Diaz and playing Luis Camposano, you know? David Peralta, yeah, we've seen. He can fill in for a night there for Fernando. I mean, he filled in for way longer than a night. Uh, Tyler Wade, he had a couple of hits today playing center field, filling in for Jackson Merrill. So it seems like Merrill would be in the lineup tomorrow, so that's good news. But I, I go back to that catching situation. Higgy, okay, he has the night off. Why is Elias Diaz not catching? Is there an injury we don't know about? I haven't listened to Mike Schultz postgame, but why did we acquire Elias Diaz and have him be on the roster, take up a spot if he's not going to play like th this is supposed to be, isn't this supposed to be the opportunities? Give Elias Diaz the opportunities. We know we've seen what Luis Camposano can give the Padres this year, right? And there's a there's a a decent sample size, obviously much better than Elias Diaz in a Padres uniform. And we know Higgy's the starting catcher, so the Padres should be using this time. And just who do they think is the the better offensive guy? Because defense, it's Elias Diaz. It's not Luis Camposano. So I, I just don't understand. Was it Dylan Cease? He's not comfortable with Elias Diaz yet, so they went with Campy. If that's the reason, I, I guess I understand that. But then have Elias Diaz be catching once Dylan Cease leaves the game, right? So I disagreed with that. It's not like Elias Diaz is playing every day. Um, and then, you know, they lose, lose. They used Tatis and Merrill late. I think they used Solano late as well. They were probably hoping it would have been a one-run game when they were going to be able to use Tatis and Merrill there in that ninth inning. And instead, it was a three-run game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just disappointed with Dylan Cease has to be better when you're going up against Logan Webb. And Logan Webb, it's not like he struck out a bunch of guys. But Dylan Cease, he was getting hit hard off. So, look, I don't think that 
in the playoffs in a wild card series. I don't think that Dylan Cease is going to not make a start. Like that, that seems pretty crazy to me. But I'd like him to, you know, not give up the long ball, obviously, and find that command. Get those strikeouts. Get the the weak contact. Um, not have that. You know, the the McCray home run earlier tonight where that ball was just, you know, pretty much middle of the play. It was just floated up there. And I know Dylan Cease isn't happy about this tonight, but that's got to be better. And the good news, though, is like going into this series, right, what I care about the most is them taking series. They're in a fine spot. I care about making the postseason. Sure, division would be nice, but I care about being a wild card team at least. And they're in a spot to do that. If they keep winning series, then they will be in the playoffs. So going into this series, if you had to pick a game for the Padres to lose, it was probably going to be today. You would say, yep, got to win Friday. They did that. Got to win Sunday with Musgrove on the mound. Logan Webb on Saturday mm, might be tough. And then you throw in, like, going into tonight, you know Tatis is going to be off. Merrill, he exited early yesterday. He wasn't going to be playing. And it's like, okay, yeah, probably not going to win this one if the Padres were going to lose a game. They were still... They had an opportunity there if Yuki didn't, you know, give up that homer. It would have been a one-run game, but still, Dylan Cease has to be better in the first place when he started this game off. Three for ten with runners in scoring position, left seven guys on base. So, you know, they created a lot more at bats with runners in scoring position than the Giants did. But the Giants were able to come up with that that big swing, and the Padres didn't do that today. They they didn't have, you know, any long ball. You can win without it, but uh, it's it's kind of hard when you have Logan Webb on the other side and you have their nine hitter hitting a couple of homers against you, right? So hopefully Joe can give us the series win tomorrow, and then I will probably it probably won't be a live show tomorrow. It'll probably be another late night, really late night uh, recorded one for everybody. But uh, that hopefully will be posted sometime tomorrow night, and then you might wake up with it on Monday morning. Just a heads up, it won't be a live show. Um, but tomorrow, it it's, should be a big day. We've got San Diego State playing right now, by the way. And then you got the Padres Giants series finale. And then Alex Morgan, her final match with the San Diego Wave. She is retiring after tomorrow's match against North Carolina. I believe there's some tickets still available on San Diego Wave's website. So please go check that out. Um, and, you know, if, if, you're a parent and you've not brought your kids to go watch Alex Morgan yet and you've been meaning to, I mean, here's your chance. This is it, right? If if you haven't seen her in a while, you haven't seen her play with the Wave, you haven't been to Snapdragon this year, this is your this is your opportunity. Go do it. So just one last reminder. Um, but, yeah, have a good night, everybody. See ya.